I've always been a fan of Legend of Zelda, and I always wanted to make Majora's Mask from the N64 game. And I finally had the tools and the time to be able to do it, and this has just fallen into some of the other fun things that I've been able to make, such as Link's shield or some of the Harry Potter CNC geek stuff that I've made, but this is just another item that can hang on the wall. So for this project, how we're going to start is we're going to face off both sides. And then we're going to drill two pilot holes into my spoil board and they're going to match up with the, my pre-drilled holes that I'm gonna do myself on the stock piece. That way I can figure out exactly where the center is of the piece. This is my first two-sided project, so let's see how it goes. bits that we're going to be using today are my half inch, uh, two inch long bits. I'll be using this for the roughing as well as the face off. And then I also have a one fourth rounded tip, extra long. This will be used for the detail. So the next step is, now that my stock is faced off, I'm going to remeasure the Z of my stock and adjust it in fusion. And then I'm going to manually draw two pin holes for the location. And then I'm going to do the same thing again on the stock using the program. And that's going to get my X and Y axis locked.
The next step is using this double-sided tape on the sides of the masks where it's actually going to be touching onto the spoiler board. So when this does get cut out, it will stay put and it won't wobble. It wouldn't be one of my projects unless I screwed something up. I loaded the wrong program. This is the bottom being cut out again. And I lost maybe a quarter inch on the top, which was much needed. So I gotta figure out how I'm going to fix this. I'm thinking resin. Damn it.
I'm doing my finishing sanding and after that final pass on the top part, I hardly have to do any at all. It's very, very smooth. I know it took forever just to run, but I'm really happy with the finish. That was a steep and stop. I'll have to take a look at what that was, but the finish is really great. The detail is just amazing. Back end. Still need some work. This is probably one of my favorite projects that I've done so far. Um, the runtime on Majora's Mask was about 18 hours. Uh, it was about six hours on the back end, and then another 12 just on the front. The finishing program took about six and a half hours, and I'm really glad that we took our time with that because. When it finished, I hardly had to do any sanding. I just briefly did 320 grit, just briefly all over it, but right off the bat, it was incredibly smooth. The wood that I used is paduk, maple, walnut, and then I laminated 2x4s for the rest. Uh, during my error, I had to glue additional wood on for the eyes, and I don't remember what the wood is for this, but I'll have to check later but it turned out beautifully. A few things that I did learn about this project is taking it slow does really save the wood from potential breaks and cracks of the wood, especially when using pine. It's, it is very fragile, especially on the, the spikes and some of these smaller details. Um, always make sure that you look at your program before you run it. Make sure you're running the correct program, otherwise you might get a snafu. I also learned that I need to take less material off when I'm using my roughing. You can still see some of the marks from my half inch uh, CNC bit that I was using, but in the end, the design of it is still amazing. A few things that I did learn about this project was being able to work on a double-sided piece this is my first time that I've done a front and a back side on the CNC. And using the location pins was a new additive to the process that I've never done before. So it was a very fun thing to try. I really like these masks and I'm thinking about even making a few more. Uh, Skyrim's Dragon Priest masks might be in the works, but we'll be working on it. I'll be making another video on the process of how to make Majora's Mask, what I did in Fusion 360, and the files that I used as well. If you like videos such as Majora's Mask or Link Shield, please let me know in the comments and please subscribe. It lets me know what I should be working on. Thanks again. Ha <laughs> ha